Hi, I'm Joe, and with my co-founder Tim, we built Only6. We make it easy for newspapers to personalize their websites and their mobile products for each individual reader. We're currently working with the Metro, where our personalized sections have doubled click-through rates, and we've handled 60 million users in the past two months. So why do the Metro love us? Well, declining digital engagement is killing newspapers, and here's why. Alice loves football, Bob loves politics, and Charlie loves celebrity gossip. But here's what Alice sees on the Metro, here's what Bob sees, <laughs> and here's what Charlie sees. They're all exactly the same, and this is crazy. But with only six, here's what Alice sees on the Metro, here's what Bob sees, and here's what Charlie sees. <laughs> and we're doing this a million times every day. But there are billions of pages just like these going unpersonalized on news sites. So why has no one solved this problem? Well, machine learning at scale is a really hard problem. Personalization requires marrying innovative machine learning research with engineering that scales to hundreds of millions of users. Tim and I have known each other for five years. In our final year, we awarded Imperial's top project prize for a joint dissertation which built out an early version of Only Six. In fact, and he hates it when I say this, but Tim's won pretty much every single prize you can win at Oxford or Imperial. <laughs> Sorry. I dropped out of a machine learning PhD at Cambridge, and Tim left his job at an algorithmic hedge fund to focus on Only Six. We started in December, so how are we doing? Well, we've doubled click-through rates at the Metro. We've calculated interest for 60 million users. We just closed a trial with the Times, and The Economist, The FT, The Independent, and The Evening Standard are all in the latter stages of our pipeline. Digital revenues are already worth $50 billion a year to global publishers. We can grow this number by 20% through improved engagement. But personalization doesn't end with news. It ends in a world that responds to you. When I say that we have 60 million users, I mean that we understand every single one of these guys to the point that we know that Alice is looking to buy a house in Blackheath, Bob is worried about rising fuel prices, and Charlie spent the past four weeks puzzling over which TV he should buy. The future of the web isn't the static one you see today. It's a dynamic web that understands and adapts to each individual and their interests. We're the guys making this possible. We're raising a seed round of £750,000, and we'd love to talk to you afterwards. We're only six, and we're personalizing the web. <laughs>